You didn't do an awful lot of racing in 1950, but then in 1951, you purchased the Fraser Nash, went to Silverstone with it, and had the most horrific accident, which you don't remember anything about. Well, that's the best way to have an accident. You know, I've had very many accidents, and those that never worry me are the, the accidents which were maybe horrific, but uh, I don't remember anything about them. I don't remember the start of the day. I don't remember anything about that particular uh, day in my life. Well, apart from everybody saying that that was the end of your racing career, it was almost the end of Salvadori because you were critically injured, the last rites were administered, and then, of course, you made a miraculous recovery. When did you decide you were going to go back? Well, automatically, it didn't, didn't arise because as soon as I was conscious, all I wanted to do was get out of bed and try, started to figure out how long it was going to take me to recover and the next race that I could take part in. I think that's the most natural thing. And if you haven't got that, you just give up motor racing. That's as simple as that.